Hello guys and welcome to my very first video on the channel. This is going to be a quick run through on how you can optimize a few application settings for a better gameplay experience in FIFA 20. So let's get right into it. So the first application that we need to download and install is the Rivertuna statistics server. I will have this linked in the description for you guys to download and install. Once you have downloaded and installed that, um, it will most likely be in your hidden icons. Uh, so if you go down here and click it here, um, this is what you guys will be looking for. If it does not, just give it a search and then go back to hidden icons and then it will be there. Essentially what uh, we need to do here is load FIFA 20 as an application. You can do so by clicking the green button here and locating your FIFA 20 shortcut. Once you do that, you click open and basically you will have this loaded as a profile you guys can pause the video here and copy these settings as they are the most important one here is the frame rate limit so you will whatever hertz your monitor has you will put that here so i have a 60 hertz screen and that's why i put 60 if you have anything higher like 144 hertz monitor then you will put 144 there um, that's all we need to look for there for now um, in the AMD settings, this is what I've found to be the most stable and consistent. Um, so anti-lag, enabled, chill, disabled, boost, disabled, limit sharpening, doesn't really affect gameplay too much, but I have that disabled. Enhancing, I have this enabled as I don't have a free sync monitor. However, if you guys do have a free sync monitor, then you guys will be able to select that option but for me enhancing works best and there's zero visual tear uh, anti-aliasing use application settings anti-aliasing method multi-sampling uh, morphological anti-aliasing is disabled anisotropic filtering is disabled texture filtering qualities on performance surface format optimization is enabled tessellation mode use application settings open gel triple buffering disabled uh, GPU workload graphics reset shader cache um, you don't need to do that um, that is the global settings they are very much the same um, if you go into the FIFA 20 uh, profile um, you guys will see that they are pretty much identical to the global settings if you'd like you guys can pause the video here as well and uh, just to make sure that these are all correct and lastly uh, the FIFA 20 game settings so I have not changed uh, the direct X um, option like you were able to do in the demo you can do it in this game however it doesn't make any difference at all um, the the main settings here you need to have selected is full screen and no limits on FPS the rendering quality and the MSAA options will be based on how good of a computer you have um, so for me I've just set this on high and 2x but if you are able to um, play the game at higher resolution then you can do so by selecting ultra and 4x I will show you guys a quick comparison between gameplay with river tuner running and without and you guys can see the difference between the two um, but this has drastically improved the performance um, of the game so this is a clip with the river tuner application running with all of our settings that we have changed in the other applications and it's a very smooth gameplay there's no problems here uh, no frame drops at all uh, compared to this clip here where just by kicking the ball you can see like stutters between the ball like those micro stutters they're very annoying they don't go away you can play the game for as long as you like uh, even capping them to 30 or 60 fps in the fifa game menu uh, didn't help at all uh, so having the river tune application it forces the game to be locked at whatever frame rate you need it to be um, and that will allow you to get that smoother gameplay and that is the end of the video if this has helped you and you want to hear from me again be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one